In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Lambda function here in Google Sheets. So a Lambda function can help you create your own function. It can have more than one arithmetic expression and or functions. So in our example right here, we're going to try and get the total for our salary with a bonus. We can use the array formula here or the Lambda function. So let's see the difference. So first for our array formula, so we're going to start with the equal sign, our curly brackets our cell reference, which will be the base salary, plus our bonus, which is $500. Close that with a curly bracket and you already have there the total. If you press enter, you have 15,161, which is this plus 500. Let's accept the suggested autofill and there you have it. So what about for the Lambda function? Now the difference between these two is the Lambda function gives you a more elaborate explanation of what's happening in getting the total salary. So if we start our formula, type in Lambda, here we have our formula, which is a name and then the formula expression. So we have our example right here where X would be your named range right here and what you're going to do with that named range. So let's start with our name. Let's say we're just going to call it base salary comma, and now our formula expression, which would be base salary plus our $500 bonus. Now, if we press enter right here, it will give us an error because we have not referenced what that base salary is. So after your formula, you're just going to put in another parentheses, select the cell reference of your base salary, close it, and then press enter. And now we have the same results as our array formula. But again, if you compare our formulas right here, our Lambda function would have a more elaborate explanation as to how we got this total. So on the right, you'll see our Lambda helper functions where we have by call, by row, map, reduce, scan, make array. So helper functions because they help distribute our formula expressions throughout our range. So I'm going to be showing you by call and by row today. Let's move on to our next example. We have here our data set where we want to compute for the total for each column and the average of each row. We're going to do that with the helper functions of by call and by row. So let's start with the sum of each column right here. We're going to start with the equal sign and then type in by call. By call meaning by column. So each expression that we put in our Lambda will be applied by column. So let's select our range right here, comma. Now we start our Lambda function. We are going to name each column, let's say just call, comma. Now we're going to add another function, which is our sum function for each column right there. And if we press enter, we have successfully calculated the total for each column without dragging our formula to the right. So that's just one of the many advantages of using the Lambda function with the by call helper function. Let's try and compute for the average with the by row function. Start with your equal sign, type in by row, select your range again, which is this rows right here, comma, start your Lambda function, name your range or your row. So let's just say row, comma, and now we are going to type in another function, which is our average function right here, which will be applied to each row. And if you press enter, we have calculated for the average of each row without dragging our formula going down. And those were just a few examples on how to use the Lambda function with your by call and by row helper functions. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.